안녕하세요 잼블 SY입니다 이번 6월 17일 렉스 프리드먼 팟캐스트에 카르다노 에이다 파운더 찰스 호스킨슨이 게스트로 나왔습니다 약 5시간 동안 카르다노의 미래, 가상화폐에 대한 생각 등을 나누었습니다 이번 영상에서는 찰스 호스킨슨의 블록체인 가상화폐에 대한 생각 및 프로젝트를 진행하는 데 마음가짐에 대해 들어보겠습니다 Do you hope that in the process of cryptocurrency pushing power to the edges, to the people, that we would be able to alleviate some of the suffering in the world caused by centralized power and the abuses of power and yeah, corruption, all those kinds of things? A hundred percent. I made a very angry video. Industry is an industry of frustration. It ex we, we weren't the industry that charged 85% interest to the poorest people in the world for loans. We weren't the industry that charged 15% to move money for, for a maid sending money home to mom in Manila. Uh, you know, we weren't the industry that laundered hundreds of billions of dollars of drug money and funded arms dealers in Africa and all these things. Or, uh, and the people who did these things aren't in jail. They're rich. They're billionaires. They fly private jets. So our industry is the antidote to these types of things. And we say, guys, we want a system that's fair. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we want everybody to be treated equally. That doesn't mean it's everybody's going to win. It doesn't mean that when you lose, you know, somebody's going to come on a white horse and bail you out. You're going to have winners and losers, but it's fair. That's all we want. That's all we've ever wanted. There's no coincidence that Bitcoin was created right around the same time as the 2008 financial crisis. It's not like these were just unrelated events. They're highly correlated to each other, okay? I'd say perhaps even causal, mm -hmm. go figure. Uh, and... Everything we've done as an industry from that moment to today and beyond has been about that, that, that endless, relentless desire to make things a little bit less corrupt, a little bit less nepotistic, and a bit more open. I absolutely believe the direction and course of this industry is, is to make things more honest and fair. That's why I'm so passionate about Africa, because they don't like the systems they have, and everybody's really young. And they are going to throw all the systems out in the next 20 years. And they're going to replace them with something else. If we get this stuff into Africa, 1.2 billion people will be living in a considerably better system than the rest of the world. And then everybody else will look at that and say, why the hell are those guys so rich? Why are those guys making the money? Why are those guys doing so well? Yeah, it's nepotism and corruption and a you know, lack of transparency and these types of things. So I think absolutely it has the potential to improve the human condition, but humans have to get out of the way. Humans have ingrained in themselves selfishness and it is a desire to maximize them for themselves and their family. Yeah. Cryptocurrency space is the only economic system where that's actually possible. Mm -hmm. It's not about communism or socialism versus capitalism. It's not about, hey, let's donate and save the world or, or try to be charity and make things better. It's all about how do you use the fact that we have a better toolkit to create a different system, a different incentive model where the default configuration of the system is long-term thinking. And the default consideration of the system is to get rid of all these negative externalities that marketplaces have and judge the success of society not by how the greatest of society are doing, but by how the least of society are doing. Do you feel the burden of, of this kind of future that's in your hands and not to mess it up? I mean, you always feel the burden, especially my own company. I mean, I have all these people work for me and you know they eat because I pay them, right? So if I can't pay them, then that's my fault. Yeah, so so you, you, you have to, as a leader, you always have to be cognizant that there's all these people have signed up for your crazy vision and you have to be larger than life. You know, you always have to be good. You, you don't, you're not allowed to have a bad day. You know, you're not allowed to feel like shit. You always have to show up. You always have to be pushing forward. Um, and so that's a huge burden in many respects because there's Charles the person and then, you know, Char Charles the CEO and these are very different things. You know, it's lonely, but you're not alone. You have so many amazing people around you that are willing to help and actually take some of that burden. And my life has gotten considerably better when I learned how to delegate and trust. And even if people screw up and fail, it's worth the risk. That's why we care so much about the publication process and open source code. We'll never file a patent because whatever we do, it's yours as much as it is mine. And maybe I can only get you 70% of the way and I'll plop over dead from a heart attack or get killed by an eagle or something like that. Do the best you can. You're in the arena. You fight as hard as you can. You, you leave nothing uh, 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 it's for home. You can put it all on the field. And then when you go home, you have pride in what you've done. And you know, one person can make a huge difference. A million people didn't starve to death because of one guy. So the fact that I've gotten this far and I'm doing pretty good, that's a win. You know, you take that. Life is good. <laughs>